Good evening. Tonight's lesson is lesson 9.6. Add fractional parts of 10 and 100. Our essential question is, how can you add fractions when the denominators are 10 or 100? Tonight, we are going to be working on page 181 in your Go Math book. Let's get started. Number one has already been done for us, but we are going to look at how they solved it. They are solving 2 tenths plus 43 hundredths. So we are adding fractions. But like you can see here, our fractions do not have the same denominators. One has a denominator of 10 and the other has a denominator of 100. So we need to make sure that they have the same denominator. We need to make common denominators in order to add them. So for number one, they've taken their two tenths and they've changed it into 20 hundredths because if we have two tenths, we can see how many hundredths there are and we can say 10 times 10 is 100 and two times 10 is 20. So 20 hundredths is an equivalent fraction for two tenths. Now, we can see that they have 20 hundredths and 43 hundredths. And they are able to add because we have the denominators of 100. So we just add our numerator. 20 plus 43 equals 63. And our denominator stays the same, hundredths. So our answer is 63 hundredths. Let's look at number two. Number two is going to be a piece of cake. They would like us to add 17 hundredths plus six tenths. But as you can see, our denominators are not the same. We have hundredths and tenths. We need to change one of the fractions so that it has the common denominator. We can change the six tenths to equal hundredths. So let's go ahead and do that. If we have six tenths, it needs to equal a fraction out of hundredths. If I say 10 times 10, I will get 100. And 6 times 10 gives me 60. So the equivalent fraction for 6 tenths out of hundredths is 60 hundredths. Now I'm able to add. I can say 17 hundredths plus 60 hundredths. If I just add my numerators, 17 plus 60, that gives me 77. And my denominator stays a 100. So our answer is 77 hundredths. Okay, friends, let's see if we can try one by ourselves. I would like you to find the sum of 7 tenths plus 23 hundredths. Don't forget, we need to change the denominators if they are not the same. So go ahead and add these two fractions and then press play when you're ready to go over the answer with me. Okay, let's go ahead and work out the problem. We have 7 tenths plus 23 hundredths. We cannot add the fractions as they are because they don't have common denominators. We can change our 7 tenths to equal a fraction out of hundredths, and that way we'll have common denominators. If I have 7 tenths, I can multiply 10 times 10 to give me 107 times 10, and that will give me 70. So 7 tenths equals 70 hundredths. Now I can add, I can add 70 hundredths plus 23 hundredths. Now that I have common denominators, I can definitely add my fractions. 70 plus 23 gives me 93, and my denominator stays at 100. So your sum for 7 tenths plus 23 hundredths is 93 hundredths. How did you do? Great job. 
Okay, let's jump down to number five. Number five, it's a little bit different. It's in money form. We have 48 cents plus 30 cents. Now, the way that we're going to approach this is that we are going to change this into fraction form. So if we have 48 cents, that is equivalent to 48 hundredths. 48 cents out of 100. And we can add our 30 cents, which is equivalent to 30 hundredths. Now we have our money into fraction form and as you can see 48 hundredths plus 30 hundredths they have the same denominator out of hundredths which means that all we need to do is just add the numerators. So if we have 48 plus 30 that will give us 78 and our denominator stays 100. So we have 78 hundredths as our answer, but when we first started, our numbers were in money form. So we need to change 78 hundredths back into money. So 78 hundredths is the same as saying 78 cents. Okay, mathematicians, let's jump down to number six, and we have 25 cents plus 34 cents. I would like you to try this question on your own. Don't forget, in order to add, that we need to change them to fraction form, and we need to make sure that they have common denominators before we can add. So go ahead, pause the video, and work out your problem. Press play when you're ready to go over the answer with me. Okay, let's go over our answer together. If I have 25 cents, it's equivalent to 25 hundredths, plus 34 cents is equivalent to 34 hundredths. Now, I was able to add these fractions like they are because we are both out of hundredths. So 25 plus 34 gives me 59, and my denominator stays 100. 59 hundredths, was the sum of 25 hundredths plus 34 hundredths. But remember that both of our numbers were in money form. So I needed to make sure that 59 hundredths was turned into money. So 59 hundredths is equivalent to 59 cents. Okay, math geniuses, let's try number seven on our own. We have 66 cents plus six cents. Don't forget that you need to change it into fraction form. Before you can add, you need to make sure that they have common denominators. And then your answer needs to be back to money form. So go ahead and try this problem. Press play when you're ready to go over the answer with me. Okay, let's check our work. 66 cents is equivalent to 66 hundredths and six cents is equivalent to six hundredths. Now, we have both our fractions out of hundredths, which makes it easier to add. We can say 66 plus six gives me 72, and our denominator stays a 100. But since we have started with money form, then our answer needs to be changed into money form in the end. So 72 hundredths is equivalent to 72 cents. I hope that you did an awesome job. Let's look at number eight. Number eight reads, Ned's frog jumped 38 hundredth meter. Then his frog jumped, jumped four tenths meter. How far did Ned's frog jump in all? Now, since our word problem has in all, we need to add 38 hundredths with 4 tenths. So let me go ahead and write that out. 38 hundredths plus 4 tenths. Now, boys and girls, I would like you to add these two fractions 
Don't forget that before you add, you must make sure that your fractions have common denominators. So go ahead and find the sum and then press play when you're ready to go over the answer with me. Okay, let's go over our answer together. We had 38 hundredths plus 4 tenths, but 100 and 10 are not the same denominator. We needed to change the 4 tenths to have a common denominator out of hundredths. So 4 tenths is equal to 40 hundredths. So our problem ended up being 38 hundredths plus 40 hundredths, which would give me 78 hundredths as my final answer. How did you do? I hope you did great. All right, friends, here is our homework for tonight. We are going to be working on page 182 for homework. You need to answer number one and number two on page 182. Don't forget to make sure to assess yourself and let me know if you are level one, level two, level three, or level four. I hope that you have an amazing evening and we will see you tomorrow in class. Bye!